is the 28th of February and it's a cold, miserable day here in High Wycombe. Lauren Ottewell here reporting for Moving On TV. And there's things going on today in High Wycombe where we're hoping to do whatever we can to stop this TTIP and uh, that is threatening the NHS and the freedom of the people of the UK. So I've got David Williams here, a Labour candidate, and I'm going to ask you, OK, and David, what are you going to do to stop this TTIP? Or do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is and how dangerous it is to I the UK? Both. I can do both. Um, the Labour Party has already tried in Parliament to get amendments passed to the legislation to exempt the NHS from TTIP so that uh, the NHS isn't obliged to um, offer all contracts for all services to private providers. Um, but that was, uh, that was not successful. Steve Baker, the local MP, didn't even bother to attend to vote, even though the local hospital here obviously um, already is part privatised and under his Durrow proposals, we think that there's a real risk that um, it could be completely privatised. Um, I mean, I've been talking to people and asking them if they even know what it is. And I, I'm quite ashamed of myself because until I went to a 38 degrees meeting, which we set up here in High Wycombe, I didn't actually know what TTIP means. So would you like to explain actually what it means, the abbreviation? It's the uh, Transatlantic Trade uh, Investment Plan. Is that right? I think that is, that's right. But I mean, it's, it's something which competition lawyers obviously know a lot about and uh, businesses uh, involved in the NA in health provision know a lot about um, because if, they, if, if the NHS is opened up to uh, private tendering for everything um, then there's money to be made from the NHS by private enterprise. Sure. So in respect we're, what we're talking about is if we put it into symbolism you could get this JR from Dallas <laughs> um, who's only interested in money and oil and making profits and he's suddenly in charge of one of our hospitals and this poor woman just happens to need a, a hospital to have a baby in and nothing there's no investment in the hospital there's no investment in the care because he doesn't really care and that could actually happen if this doesn't change isn't that true? Well, of course, the truth is that um, if a private company like Bridgepoint Capital invests in um, health care provision, they're not in it primarily to provide patient care. They're in it to make a profit um, because ultimately they have obligations to their shareholders to pay dividends. So, you know, we, we don't agree that um, private enterprise should really play any role in the NHS and that if... Uh, NHS uh, is obliged to uh, offer contracts out, the NHS should always be the preferred provider, which is what Labour's proposals would have um, entailed. But the Conservatives at the moment are still leaving it open so that TTIP will apply to NHS provision. And so when the NHS looks for um, somebody to provide physiotherapy services or anything else, they have to put it out to private tender. And it could be a company from America, it could be from China, could be from somebody from England but it's open competition um, gloves off who can make the most profit out of the NHS and exactly and who's going to suffer the ordinary human beings and I was just going to say in 1789 this is a bit of history um, they stormed the Bastille because uh, Marie Antoinette Louis the 16th wife said let them eat cake which was basically throwing, you know, looking at people and saying, we don't care about you. If you haven't got any bread or food, you can go and eat cake. So we're now a lot more civilized. And we're going to go and talk to Stephen Stanford from 38 Degrees, who is starting this petition here in High Wycombe. Because we can now, we, it's a different consciousness. We are fighting a war. It may not be Germany or the Nazis, but we're fighting a war against greed. We're fighting a war where human beings don't get considered a lot anymore. But Absolutely. we believe in moving on TV, we believe in showing people the truth. And everyone needs to know what, this, what the implications will be well, I think for this, us. I think this election this year will be absolutely critical. I mean, it will be as important as it was in 1945, where people had to make the choice between the welfare state and Labour, or private enterprise and the Conservatives. 
and that's really what we're facing this time round. And if, if you want if you want people to be at the heart of every policy that is is made rather than money being at the heart of every policy, if you want people to be the priority, then it's Labour who's going to provide that in 2015. And 38 Degrees, who are you know great um, neutral campaigning organisation, are, are doing great work in raising awareness about a lot of very important issues. And if they can uh, invigorate people to uh, to think about this more and to vote uh, and get the uh, help get the turnout up, that's a good thing for democracy too. Okay, so are you saying that you're going to be supporting this? I mean, when are the elections exactly happening? May the, May the 7th is the general elections and the local um, district council elections in Wickham. And, yeah, the Labour Party is very clear on uh, repealing the Health and Social Care Act and making sure that the NHS is exempt from TTIP. Okay, so you've heard that here on Moving On TV. And as I say, we tell the truth. Because if David Williams doesn't stick to this, I'll soon be coming after you. Okay, we're well, signing off here. Thank you very much, David.